Radio Escuela sa Radio Bago 101.7 FM. Maayong adlaw sa tanan nga tagpalamati diri sa aton programa ang Eskwelahan sa Kahanginan Radio Eskwela 101.7 FM ang radio sa mga bagunhon aton ini. Hello kids. How are you today? How was your vacation? Great. I'm glad to hear that you had a great time with your family. This is your teacher, Loreley. Good day, everyone. It's been a while since the last time we've heard from each other. We missed to be with you, kids. We missed our on-air bonding and learning time together. I am Teacher Jim. We will be your teachers for today's episode. Welcome to another school year of School in the Air program for Grade 3 English. Today's episode is entitled, Tell Me More About the Story Character. I know that you are all excited to learn today. Let's get ready for another 30 minutes of fun-filled activities. You may ask help and assistance from any members of your family if you need to. Now kids, please get yourself learning modules, pencils, and answer sheets and look for a comfortable place where you could sit back and relax while listening and learning. Are you now all set? Great! Let's get started. Turn your modules to page 2. Let's answer what I know. Again, turn your modules to page 2. Let's answer what I know. Kids, I will read the story about Rose in a Vase. Again, I will read to you the story about Rose in a Vase. Listen carefully because you are going to answer some questions later. Again, listen as I read the story, Rose in a Vase, because you will answer some questions about it later. Here we go. Rose in a Vase Micah smells the red rose in the vase. Oh no, there's a bug on the petal. It is a bad bug. Micah gets the rose and the bug flies. Rose in a vase. Micah smells the red rose in the vase. Oh no, there's a bug on the petal. It is a bad bug. Micah gets the rose and the bug flies. Kids, let us give teacher Jim a virtual clap. Did you listen very well, kids? Good job! Now... Let us answer the following questions. Number one. Who smells the red rose in the vase? A. Micah. B. Buck. Again, who smells the red rose in the vase? A. Micah. B. Bug. Number two. What does Micah see on the petal? A. Vase B. Bug Again, what does Micah see on the petal? A. Vase B. Bug Number 3. What does Micah say about the bug? A. Fat B. Bad. Again, what does Micah say about the bug? A. Fat. B. Bad. Number four. What happens to the bug when Micah gets the rose? A. Disappear. B. Flies. Again, what happens to the bug when Micah gets the rose? A. Disappear. B. Flies. Number 5. 
What did Micah feel when she saw the bug? A. Mad B. Happy Again, what did Micah feel when she saw the bug? A. Mad B. Happy Are you done, kids? Let's check your answers. Number one, the correct answer is letter A, Micah. Number two, the correct answer is letter B, Bug. Number three, the correct answer is letter B, Bad. Number four, the correct answer is letter B, flies. And number five, the correct answer is letter A, mad. How many correct answers did you get, kids? For those who get four to five correct answers, you were awesome. For those who did not, don't worry. We still have lots of activities for you. Kids, are you excited to get moving? Very good! Turn your modules to page 3. Kids, do you have a favorite story? Do you find the characters who can connect to your life's experience? How about you, Teacher Lore? Do you have a favorite story when you were a kid, just like our grade 3 pupils here? Yes, I do, Teacher Jim. The story of the monkey and the turtle was my favorite when I was a kid. Oh, really? That was also one of my favorites and I really liked Turtle's character. So now, Teacher Lore, let's find out how the characters in the stories will affect the personalities of our grade 3 listeners. That's right, Teacher Jim. Now, kids, let us answer what's in on page 3. Directions tell a story about the pitcher. Write at least three sentences about it. Use the words ball, brothers, flowers, coconut, trees, and play to make your sentences. Then be ready to share your story. Again, tell a story about the pitcher. Write at least three sentences about it. Use the words ball, brothers, flowers, coconut, trees, and play to make your sentences. Then, be ready to share your story. We will give you time in doing this activity. You may begin in 3, 2, 1. Your time is up. How did you find the activity, kids? Very good. For this activity, your answers are different from the answers of everybody else. In this case, let me share with you my answer for this activity. This is just a sample story. Here it goes. Junie and John are brothers. They are going to the garden that is full of flowers and coconut trees. Then, they found a ball. Juni wants to return to the owner, but John insists to play the ball. This time, kids, turn your modules to page 4. Are you now ready to listen to another story? Great! The title is... The Blind Black Carabao Once upon a time, there was a blind black carabao who lived in a rice field. His friends were a healthy cat, a rich dog, 
and a selfish goat. One day, the blind black carabao found a sack of rice. He had an idea of saving it. He then asked his friends, Who will help me pick the sock? Not me, purred the healthy cat. Oh no, not me, barked the rich dog. Not even me, shouted the selfish goat. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm came to their place, the blind black carabao asked his friends, Who will help me carry the sock? Nobody answered him. A healthy cat returned to her chair. A rich dog hid in his house, and a selfish goat ran in a distant place. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm ends, all of them were very hungry. The tired blind black carabao called and asked his friends again, Who will help me eat the rice? I will, purred the healthy cat. I will, barked the rich dog. I will, shouted the selfish goat. No, said the blind black carabao. I will. Then he began to eat the rice. His friends were swallowing their saliva while looking at him eating the rice. He felt pity, so he shared his food with them. Thank you, Carabo. Even though you are blind, you are so hardworking and generous, said his friends. Without you, we will all die with hunger, barked the rich dog. That is why you are the favorite animal of the Filipinos, shouted the selfish goat. Next time, let us help Carabao to find some food in order for us to leave, purred the healthy cat. I know you can also do it, so let us help one another, said the Carabao. The next week, a healthy cat found some fruit seeds. They all volunteered to plant. When days passed fast, they happily harvested and shared the bounties of their harvest. That was indeed a very good story, Teacher Lore. Did you like the story, kids? Yay! Good job! This time, let us answer the comprehension questions on page 6. Number 1. What did he want to do with the sack of rice? Again, what did he want to do with the sack of rice? Number 2. Which animals did he ask to help him pick and carry the sack of rice? Let's name them. Again, which animals did he ask to help him pick and carry the sack of rice? Let's name them. Number three. What did each animal say? Again, what did each animal say? Number four. What did the blind black carabao feel? Again, what did the blind black carabao feel? Number five. If you were to choose among the characters in the story, who would you like to be? Why? Again, if you were to choose among the characters in the story, who would you like to be? Why? Let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, he wants to save a sack of rice. Number two, healthy cat 
rich dog, and a selfish goat. Number three. Each animal says, not me. Number four. He feels tired and hungry. Number five. I would like to be blind black Carabelle because he is hardworking and generous. Did you get a perfect score? Excellent! In this activity, again, your answers may vary from the answers we have given, but as long as they have the same thoughts or ideas, they are still correct. Moving on to our next activity. Turn your modules to page 7. At this point, let's do activity A, describing the characters. This is what are you going to do, kids. Think about the characters in the story, the blind black caribou. Choose one of the main characters to describe in detail. Complete the character found on the same page of your modules. Again, think about the characters in this story, the blind black caribou. Choose one of the main characters to describe in detail. Complete the chart found on the same page of your modules. You may start now. Okay, kids, let's see if you completed the chart correctly. Listen carefully. Character or main character? The answer is blind black carabao. These are details from the text. How would you describe the character? The answer, black, blind, big, have four legs, fat, hard-working, and generous. How does this character affect in the story? Carabao is a good example to other character of the story. So kids, are your answers the same with mine? Great! Before we proceed to our next activity, let's have a short break. Stay tuned! Ano ang porga o deworming? Ang porga o deworming ang pagkakas sa mga lugay sa aton tinai sa paagi sa pag-inom sang bulong. Ang mga lugay nagaagaw nutrisyon nga dapat makadto pa sa tawo nga apektado. Nagahatag ini pala nakit sang tiyan kag pagsuluka. Mahimo man ini mangin rason sang malnutrisyon sa mga bata. Makaangko ni kaos sang lugay kung wala kagapang hugas sang imo kamot pagkatapos mo halin sa banyo. Paghikap sa mahigko nga butang, paguyat sa mga sapa to kun ano pa nga butang nga mahigko. Mahimo man ikaw magkalugay kung nakakaon ni kaos sang karne nga wala maayon na luto o kun mga prutas kag mga ulutanon nga wala na hugasan sang maayo. Mahimo man ini makuha ko ni kaon nakainom sang kontaminado nga tubi o kun nakakaon sa mga pagkaon nga naitlogan sang lugay. Ang mga sintomas nga ang bata may lugay amo ang mga masunod. Ga pala nakitang tiyan, wala gana magkaon, pagpalakatol sa gawi sang huli, pagpalano ka, gulpiada nga pagniwang, anemia, nubo nga IQ kag pigaw nga resistensya. Amo ina ang rason nga indikit kita magduwa-duwa nga magpaporga. Inigali si Shana, nagapahanong dom, mas maayo ang preparado. We're back! You are still listening to School in the Air of Deped Bago City, broadcasting live from Radio Escuela sa Radio Bago 101.7 FM. Ang radyo sang mga bagunhon at ini. This time, turn your modules to page 8. Kids, to have more understanding about the characters in a story, listen carefully. Characters are people or animals in a story. The character who is the focus in the story is called main character. The characters are the actors in the story. In the story, the characters are blind black caribou, 
rich dog, healthy cat, and selfish goat. They have their own characters and attitude. For us to understand more about the character and attitude, we need to note the details in the story. Noting details is a comprehension skill that involves choosing out a text from the story read. It is a piece of information like text or picture to fully understand the story. How do we note details regarding the character? Number one, always read the story with full understanding and internalize the text. Number two, jot down notes or highlight texts. Now that you already have ideas and knowledge about the characters in a story, let's proceed to our next activity for you to be able to tell more about them. Open your modules on page 9. You can find their Activity 8.1 Character Profile. One way to easily identify the characters in the story is to read and understand the whole story and by looking at the illustrations of the story. Can you still recall the characters in the story, the blind black carabao? Brilliant! Now, choose one of the characters in the story and complete its character profile on your modules. Copy the character profile on a separate blank sheet of paper. Do it now, kids! Are you done? Okay, then. Let's see if you follow the instruction and answered correctly. Ask your parents or siblings to help you check your answers, kids. Take note, you may have a different answers from the others. You were asked to copy the character profile on a blank sheet of paper. And on the blue circle, you have to draw the character that you have chosen. Did you get it right? Awesome. Next, you were asked to write the name of the character in the green circle. Parents, kindly check if your kids have written the correct names of or answers. And lastly, you were asked to complete the sentences to tell something about the character. These are the sentences. I am blank. I like to blank. I am blank. If I have chosen to draw Carabao, this will be my answers. I am Carabao. I like to give foods to my friends. I am happy. Again, kids, your answers don't have to be the same as mine. Parents, kindly assist your kids in checking their work. Thank you. Did you gain more knowledge about a story character after doing the activity? Very good, kids! Now, you are ready to proceed to another activity. Turn your module to page 10. Let's do the activity 8.2. It's a message. Kids, you have pretended to be a selfish goat in the story. Write on a separate blank sheet of paper your message to blind black carabao when you did not help him to carry the sack of rice. Again, pretend to be a selfish goat in the story. Write on a separate blank sheet of paper your message to blind black carabao when you did not help him to carry the sack of rice. You can find there in your modules the format on how to write a letter to Blind Black Carabao. And on page 11 and 12, you can find the rubric on writing a letter. 
This will serve as your guide to write. Good luck! Okay, kids, your time is up. For this activity, your answers may vary from the answers that I will read to you. Here is a sample letter for the blind black carabao. Dear blind black carabao, I am sorry because I am selfish. I did not help you to carry the sack of rice. Next time, I promise to help you carry the sack of bananas. Your friend, Goat. Did you like the sample letter for Blind Black Carabao? Did you also said sorry in your letter? Good job, kids! We must say sorry at all times if we did something wrong or if we hurt someone's feelings through our words or actions. Kids, it seems that you really are good in telling one's character in a story. I know you are up for some more activities, right kids? Our next activity is called Choose Me. You have to recall the story of a blind black carabao. The direction says, in your notebook, draw the character that shows good attitude in the story. Write at least two to three sentences about your drawing. Use the rubric on drawing as your guide. It could be found on page 13 of your modules. We will give you an ample time in doing this activity, kids. You can do this right after our program. Ask help or assistance from your parents or older siblings. Now kids, it's time to check if you really have learned from our today's lesson. Turn your modules to page 14. Let's answer what I have learned. Letter A. How will you identify the characters in the story? Again, how will you identify the characters in the story? What is your answer, kids? You are right, by noting details about characters in the story. Letter B. What do you call on the character who is the focus in the story? Again, what do you call on the character who is the focus in the story? Kids, well done! The answer is main character. Letter C. How will you write the details on the character in the story? Again, how will you write the details on the character in the story? Are you done, kids? In this question, we listed two answers. Number one, always read the story with full understanding and internalize the text. And number two, jot down notes or highlight text. Way to go, kids! You did an amazing job in answering all our activities. This time, let's proceed to page 15 of your modules. Let's give our best in doing what I can do. For sure, you will be able to give your very best in doing this activity. This is a test of how well you really know the members of your family. Directions, write the name of your family members and their characters in the table. Again, write the name of your family members and their characters in the table. You may start now, kids! Oh, 
Okay kids, kindly ask your parents or older siblings to check your answers. I will read the sample answers for this activity. Again kids, this is just a sample. Anton, father, loving, tall, and hardworking. Lily, sister, beautiful and sincere. Denden, younger brother, chubby, big eyes, and noisy. You're now on the final phase of today's lesson. Are you ready for your assessment? Great! Turn your modules to page 16. Directions, read the story below, answer the questions in the table. Okay, kids, ring along with me. Mike has a kite and a bike. He rides on his bike to the playground. He flies his kite. One day, the kite fell on the playground. Mike was sad. He had no more kite. Kids, I will give you time to answer the questions in the table. You can start now. up kids your answers will be checked by your english teacher for your additional activity you may refer to page 17 of your modules you can do it after our program or during your free time congratulations kids you have completed all the tasks in this module Thank you for your useful cooperation and eagerness to learn. You did a very good job, kids. Thank you also to the parents, siblings, and other members of the family who assisted and helped our grade 3 learners in completing all the activities. Another meaningful hour has passed while learning about Tally more about the story character for Grade 3 English. This broadcast was made possible through the efforts of yours truly, Teacher Jim Jason B. Aurelio and Teacher Laurelie G. Pantaleon, the voices behind this episode. We would like to thank our script writer, Teacher Pamela D. Constancio of General 1A Araneta Elementary School. Special thanks to Teacher Gilbert Paolo Pagapang of Leonor de la Rama Elementary School for the technical assistance provided in the production of today's episode. Stay at home, kids. Keep safe. And until next time, this is your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Lorely. And Teacher Jim, only here in Radio Escuela sa Radio Bago 101.7 FM, ang radio sa mga bagunhon, atun ini.